Welcome to this video on custom filters in Microsoft Excel. So this is a nice quick one here where I'm going to show you a quick shortcut way of putting custom filters on your data. Really useful if you've got lots of data, if you want to quickly find something without having to put your filters on and then click on the drop down and find what you're looking for or hide what you're not looking for. There is a different way that you can do it and it's much, much simpler. It's gonna save you time, it's gonna make you more productive and that's all good things. We've got lots to do. So let's have a look at this and I'll give you a really great example here. So I'm gonna look at my order about column and I want to filter this detail. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you might recognize this detail. We've worked on this in a number of different Excel videos. I want to filter by just 100. So I only want to see the rows with 100 in the order amount. Now I can obviously go into the data tab and add a filter and then drop down that way. But what I can also do is if I right click on that cell, so I'm looking for 100 and I've right clicked on that cell, it brings up my menu. Now you may not have noticed before, but if you look very closely at the menu items, there's one of the letters underscored. So if you go to filter, so it's about halfway down in the quick analysis tool, filter has the E underscored. That means that's a shortcut. So if I press the letter E, it's going to know that I want to filter. So I don't have to use my mouse and scroll down. I can just press the letter E and it knows I want to filter. So let's do that. And you can see there my next pop-up box. So it's almost like I've clicked on filter, but I haven't. I've just pressed the letter. And then I can decide how I want to filter. So I actually want 100. So I want to filter by the cell's value. And again, if you have a look, there is different letters in each of the options, underscored or underlined. So you can select the one you want. And I want the value. So I'm going to press V. And now it's given me a filter. It's automatically created them. I didn't have to go into the data tab or anything and put them on there. And it's automatically done that filter for me which is really, really, really useful. And then I just click on undo to bring out of it. And then I can go in and do it again if I want to. I can do it on other things. If I right click on Grace's name there and use the E. I can just show you again, I've got color, font color and icon in the filter. But if I go back, you'll notice I can do things like sort with O, so if I press O, you've got the sorting option. So I can sort all of these by colors or formatting or custom sort, or I've got sort A to Z and that's S or O. So let's press S and get that sorted. Obviously, it's got a bit funny because I've got headers on there, but it does give you a really great example of another way you can use this shortcut. So it's not just for custom filters. So really, really useful little bit of functionality there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and please do let us know what videos you'd like us to record next.